Hi guys, welcome along to this special video. I'm just taking a quick look at Flight Recorder, which is a new add-on from the flightsim.to website. And I'll put the link in the description. And here is the page where you can download the file, unzip it, put it somewhere on your drive and you're looking for the flight recorder dot client, which is the execution file. Now I created a shortcut of that and put it on my desktop or you can pin it to your start bar. And here's what it looks like. Start your game as normal, push the shortcut for flight recorder and this pops up and it's so simple. All you have to do is push one button and that's record. And there you can see it has started doing its stuff. You just minimize the window. Couldn't be easier, very, very simple. And you just carry on your flight as normal. So here we are at Nantes Airport in Northern France, Northwestern France, and we're on our way to Heathrow. So I've just done this for demonstration purposes, so please don't judge me on my flying skills. Thank you. So you just carry on your flight as normal. You don't have to do anything differently. And who can resist a bit of eye candy as the sun is rising? Can't beat a bit of sunrise on flight sim. Nice full moon there as well. Then you simply stop recording when you've had enough. You don't want to record the whole flight and you can either replay it straight away or you can save it somewhere on your drive. If you replay, you get this box come up again. Push the replay button and off you go. You can choose any camera you want. Climb aboard. You can actually change the time of day, of course, as well. Set up the drone cam on the side of the runway. Watch yourself take off. You can do it as many times as you want from different perspectives. Here's the the wing view of takeoff. Don't know what that clicking is. It seems to disappear when we take off. Sounds like an indicator. But yeah, you can choose any camera you want on your replay. Now it might take a few seconds to load up all your scenery, the aircraft, etc. So you've got to give it time and it might be a bit jittery depending on the graphic settings of your own individual computer, of course. Same procedure for landing. So just record your flight from the point in which you want to be able to replay it. Again, just choose any camera you want when you're replaying the footage again. Here's a nice window view to landing. The only thing I will say is when you're replaying the, the, um, the flight again you have to make sure that your aircraft has got its engines on and running. Why not set up your camera in the control tower? Here it is in the control tower at Heathrow, watching the flight come in. 200.
50. Okay, it's a late landing, I get it, but anyway, this was for demonstration purposes, but it just shows you the versatility of this little thing, and you can save your flights um, for as long as you want. So there we are, just a quick video just to demonstrate that. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration, guys. See you again.